the debate that will go on for decades, years after they retire, one's already retired, LeBron or Kobe, Black Mamba versus King James, all preferential if you ask me, no substantial answer to be given when you asking who's the best, so this video ain't me doing my eye test on who's better, LeBron or Kobe. If you subscribe to Dame's World before, you know who I choose preferentially is the Mamba. This video ain't about that. This video is about me pointing out the distinguishing qualities between the two, in which why some people would choose Bron Bron and some people would choose the Mamba. And contrary to what your belief is, it's not a long list of distinguishing qualities. They both score well. They both can pass well, one better than the other. They both rebound well. They both defend well in their own right. So what is it that is the essential difference between the players? And that's what we're going to dive into today. And we're going to do it by showing the Blue vs. White Olympic game, 2008. I think this game encapsulates well the differences between the two. So we're going to get right into it. The first difference for me is how they produce. How they get these numbers. How they score. How they rebound. Ooh, how bad shot. How they get assists. And for one, the big difference, athleticism versus skill. If you're someone who's enamored by freakish athletic ability, then you favor somebody who gets their buckets like that. Whereas Kobe, oh, Brian, wide open. Uh, whereas Kobe, on the contrast, relies heavily on skill. You see, people are backed up four feet on LeBron. That's not because he has 2,000 moves. It's because he's so big and so fast that if you play him up close, he's going to blow by you. And then when you have Kobe, he doesn't have that luxury. So what does he depend on? Uh-oh, let's go to the highlights. Kobe depends on a multitude of moves. So this film, as you'll see, you see LeBron got already two, three dunks, two, three wide open jumpers. So you see the premise of him getting his shit is because he's a force. Whereas you see Kobe doing some shit like that. Tough shot ability. Not as fast. Doesn't jump as high as LeBron. So he has to have a better handle. He has to have a more effective jumper. He has to be better at shooting contested shots. Because LeBron's so big, strong, and fast, he doesn't have to do these things. Look at that. Up and under. You probably have seen LeBron do that maybe... Five times in his career, that up and under. Looks basic, but it's just not something LeBron has been compelled to do or was forced to do. So that's one of the main differences between the two. One's an uber athlete and one's excessively skilled. And I think that's one of the most critical components. Two, which pertains to the athlete skill narrative, is difficult shot ability. Because LeBron is so big, so strong, so fast, he doesn't have to take difficult shots like Kobe. And because Kobe's not so big, so strong, so fast, he shoots shit like that. <laughs> He's taking shots that <clears throat> most people would not take. And in a very effective manner. Though his percentages aren't high, we'll go to stats, aren't as high as LeBron's. You can obviously see because of the shot selection, it can't be high. LeBron getting layups, LeBron getting fast break dunks, LeBron getting wide open threes. Whereas Kobe almost always has somebody on him, double team, might shoot over the double. So the second aspect would be the level of difficulty in how they get what they get. Kobe's degree of difficulty, probably the toughest in history. LeBron's not so tough because he's a freak. It's that simple. It all, it all comes down to your preference. You want a nigga getting easy buckets? You like seeing a nigga getting easy buckets? Then you might prefer LeBron. 
You like seeing that nigga hit a fadeaway over two people doing three pump fakes and doing shit like that? You might fuck with Kobe. We got to acknowledge the preference, baby. We can't just say who you think is better is the right answer because it's not. I think Kobe, but that's not the right answer. There is no right answer. Third, and this is three of four, mindset. The mind state is why, to me, LeBron is a more willing passer. And the mind state of Kobe is why he's a more aggressive scorer. They don't come in with the same archetype. Kobe's archetype is murder. Murder, 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 kill, kill. <laughs> LeBron's archetype is be a team player, be what the fuck. Uh-oh, Kobe think he got one? Uh-uh, Brian beat that shit up. And then that goes to my first um, argument of how they do what they do. LeBron on defense, chase down blocks. That's athleticism. Kobe on defense, slides his feet. That's skill. So you're talking about the essential differences. So that's just a um, little side claim to go, but you talk about mind state. LeBron is a team player, in my opinion. I think I would probably rather play with LeBron. Like Bird said, I would rather play with LeBron on the court, but if I want to win, I want Kobe because the mind state of Kobe is a serial killer, a sociopath. Uh, and then lastly, Lastly, you got clutch. That's my last trait, and it caters to the mind state. As you look, you see the game winding down, 101, 102. It's Kobe time, and we know this. Brown on him, lagging off. And the mind state of Brown, he'll let somebody else guard Kobe sometimes, even though he's on him this time. Kobe on the, on the back end is like, okay, I got him. I'm getting LeBron for the clutch bucket no matter what as you're going to see at the end. So it equates to mind state, but this is the fourth of the fourth difference. Is the willingness, Kobe's not passing this rock, down one. Kobe's going to revert to a skilled shot, down one. And Kobe's going to knock it down, down one. Now his percentage may be lower in the clutch because he takes all the clutch shots wherever he's at. One second left, give it to Kobe. Three people on him, give it to Kobe. <laughs> So, clutch is the final factor. You have athleticism versus skill. You have difficulty in how they get their shits. You have mindset, which is why Kobe would be like, I'm guarding LeBron regardless this possession. And you have clutch, as we close out on this note, uh, for the win. LeBron doesn't have a skilled move for the win. Note that. And this is why he came up short. But all in all, those are my four most notable differences. Shout out to GD Factory Clips for the clip. But my four most notable differences are, like I said, you have the how they get their shit. You got the athlete versus the skilled player. You have the level of difficulty. You got easy buckets. First tough buckets. What do you like as a fan? You got the mindset. So you got a killer versus a friend, a homie. And some people would rather the homie. The team, more team player. Sure, Brian teammates love him. Kobe teammates, not so much. And then you have the clutch, which equates to the mind state. The killer. The more passive player. And some people would want a more passive player in the clutch. Because all Kobe shots wasn't good shots. You have to consider that. So this video is just touching on the difference in legends. Both legends. Both great. And I think we always revert to one or the other. He's better. It's no question. Or he's better. It's no question. It is a question. They both great. It's really about what you like and what you prefer. Me? I prefer them tough shots. I prefer a serial killer. I prefer someone who takes pride in that clutch moment and will die for that moment. But that's just me. It's your boy, Dane. Let me know your thoughts, comments, 
other distinguishing qualities, if you may. But I think those are the four main qualities. It's your boy, Dane. Peace.